Virtual and augmented reality are changing the game. Everything from storytelling to healthcare, manufacturing, agriculture, gaming, and much more. All here at CES 2018. Here at the show, we're seeing new applications of augmented reality, new devices, and more content. Combined, the augmented reality marketplace and gaming and VR marketplace at CES will collectively span 45,000 net square feet of exhibit space. I've got the Vuzix Blade. This is the world's first AR-enabled, Alexa-enabled smart glass. It's like a pair of sunglasses, and when you look through this lens, everything appears floating right over the space in front of you. All your cell phone alerts, your social alerts pop up. I've got a camera on this side. I see something really cool. I can take a picture. So this is the Galaxy Experience Zone. We have a whole bunch of different interactive VR experiences from alpine skiing, snowboarding, the HMD Odyssey, uh, sway chairs, which is a virtual roller coaster. You can even be a pterodactyl flying away from the Ice Age. It's pretty incredible with a flipping chair, the Pulsar chair. Um, everything is powered by the Gear VR headset with a Note 8. We have the Merge Blaster, a normal uh, mobile phone. Put it into the blaster. You know, it can be first-person shooter. It can be a runner game. It could be any type of experience. The software and the hardware. Uh, it's up to the developer's imagination. Virtual reality headsets and augmented reality eyewear are expected to sell 4.9 million units in 2018. That's more than 25% growth, while revenues will reach 1.2 billion dollars this year. We have various different VR simulations. Uh, one of our big, big, most popular things we're showcasing is our booth in a VR world. That's been attracting a lot of people. It's very interesting to kind of see everything we have here in the VR space. We're also doing stuff with uh, sports and ESPN where uh, cameras are set up on the field and you know you turn your head and you watch a player run right past you on the field. PSVR is powered by the PS4. We're showing off Demo Disc 2.0 and The Last Guardian VR. We're occipital. Uh, we do a lot of spatial awareness, computer vision, stuff like that. Uh, what we've got here today is a really fantastic uh, mono tracking demo. We also have the, uh, the bridge headset here. It's a mobile spatially aware headset. The sky is the limit for augmented and virtual reality here at CES 2018. Enhancing new markets and ushering in the next wave of immersive entertainment, all the action is taking place right here. For CES TV, I'm Danielle Casignol.